Hello and welcome back to Nat Scraps. My name is Nella Koenig. I am a close to my heart maker and today we are working on a day 20 of Chrissy's Beautiful Life's 30 Days of Sketches. And here's a little tinkling in the background. That's my dog who's just opened my back door so we'll probably have flies in here in a second. <gasps> Frustrating. <laughs> Anyway, back to the sketch. Today's sketch is by Rebecca Lockhart. Rebecca, thank you for a wonderful sketch. Now, I this sketch to me screamed multimedia. So I thought, yes, multimedia, I'm going to do this. I have this really cute photo of my son eating ice cream with his grandfather. And I'm, I'm all over this. I am going to do multimedia. Guys, I struggled. Now, I... I do like multimedia. I think it, I just had in my head that I wanted something to happen and it didn't quite happen. So you can see here, here I am making an absolute mess. I've got the white gloss spray and I'm trying to create some ice cream dribbles. In my head, that's what I'm making. Um, in reality, I think I'm making a mess. Um, but I'm trying to make some ice cream dribbles that are dribbling down the page. And you'll see I'm trying to get that. Now, um, spoiler alert, I didn't do, uh, that didn't just dry magically. I went away, had a um, cuppa, came back when it was all done. And we'll go to see where I go from there with this design. Um, up the top, I'm just having a look. Do I want ice cream sprinkles up the top there in that top corner? And um, I'll come back to that a little bit later. And then I'm thinking I need to cut this down and I need to put it on some paper. Now, I did go looking. I had some bulk um, beach party paper. No, it's not beach party. It is. Oh, you guys will be sick of me not knowing what I'm talking about and forever having to go searching for the right name. It is uh, Fresh Paint. Fresh paint is the name of this one. So I went and grabbed a piece of that and I'm going to lay that behind. And I kind of get it on there part crooked and go, ah, oh, stoof it. I'm going to put it on there completely crooked. So there you go. That's why it's crooked. And um, I just thought, oh, well, that will help maybe with this multimedia look that I'm going for. Um, I'm not sure what I was doing there, guys. There was loads and loads of chumps and bits and pieces but I am back with trying to put some like dollops of colored ice cream on now and um, again it doesn't work very very well but hey we tried um, one of the things I will note here is that if I was going to do this again I would probably do the colors first because when they hit the white gloss spray they don't want to stay on there they want to just run off or not um, appear at all um, they kind of well they just go away they do they stay wet or for a long long time so I did leave that and let that dry for ages once again magic of the um, YouTube that we cut away to it being perfectly dry had the Cricut out mach machine out again and I have made a little ice cream cone here I'm going to blend this to give it that kind of wafery feel so I've just got a clear um, poster note that I keep moving and blending along on a diagonal and then turned it around and did it all the way back and that gives like a bit more of a cone kind of feel and then I'm going to layer up my little scoops of ice cream and the I, I chose colors here that were sort of in the photo so there's a little bit of blue in the photo there's a little bit of yellow um not much it's actually in a bin in the background but it works well with the red and the um blue that i've chosen 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 ah, english my first language and yeah so um that's how i got the colors they also match in with that fresh paint paper as well you can see here i'm trying really hard and um this the ink on this white gloss spray is just not playing and i think i bring in a tissue and kind of dab it away in a moment so i have my ice cream um it's got a little like a journaling tab on it and then i've got my cone and i'm taking that as the sketch in the sketch there's sort of like three photo places 
but I've got like two embellishments and a photo instead. I'm pulling out loads and loads of embellishments and bits and pieces. Now in the bowl, like my son has an ice cream cone, but Pa has a bowl that's got strawberries and ice cream in it, like a little bit more grown up than the old ice cream cone. So um, I have bought in things that were strawberries, but um, that it was just a matter of having lots of little embellishments that go along with this idea of them just having an absolute awesome time liking the ice cream. Now, hold on to your hats here. I did just squirt a heap, a heap of matte medium onto my page and then sprinkle those sprinkles on there. So um, I just literally grouped it all around and put it on quite thickly and then sprinkled the, um, these are from the, uh, no, I'm not even going to try right now because my, my success rate has been really bad. This was from a previous collection and, oh, can you hear my neighbour there mowing the lawns? I do apologise for that. Um, and what was I up to? Ah, I'm so sorry, guys. So, um, yeah, I just sprinkled them around and then I put a block on the top of them so that they dried in those positions. Um, here I am just magic mounting up some of those items the uh, photo, the ice cream cone, and then I'm going to start layering some of the little um, sayings and bits and pieces around this. Now, guys, I don't by any means think that this was a fantastic layout that I absolutely adore the finish of. It's probably a sketch that I would like to go back and do again um, and have another go at because I really didn't um come out as was in my head like as several times this month but that's okay um but talking about doing redos i was thinking that when we get to the end of the 30 days of sketches that we might have a redo a redemption round and i'd love to put a poll up somewhere whether it's on my facebook group or on um i'm not sure if i can do it on youtube i'll try to figure it out but if i can put a poll up somewhere and we do a redemption round and you guys can vote for the layout that you want me to try again and um it won't be the same theme or something it won't be the same photos but it will be the same sketch and we'll see if I can redeem myself with a sketch that you guys think that I could have done better on. So let me know what you think and um, whether you would vote because I would love to know. Pop a comment down below. Let me know those things. Here we are just decorating up the page. You did see me put some of those sprinkles also on the little ice cream cones and pretty all that up and then i get right to there now you guys know my son has been doing the editing of the photo uh, the videos and it's funny because i don't think he really uh, gets it that like their memories it's special to me all that kind of jazz he's a teenage boy doesn't get any of that stuff but um a couple of times i said what do you think i should do here and he's, he's gone no that doesn't look right or it does look right um, quite often I'm working on one side of the bench, he's working on the other side of the bench. And um, I got to the end of this one and I said that um, I was, what do you think? And he's like, it's, 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 there's nothing down the bottom. There's nothing, there's, it's blank down the bottom. Yeah, okay, I'll put sprinkles there. So thank you to Isaac because I think it did help. It balanced out the page. He was absolutely right. He might need to take over my whole job. He should be making the pages and everything because it did look a lot better. <laughs> Here's the slowdown, guys. Um, and while we go through that, just a reminder, um, like, subscribe, all those things. Leave a comment. And a big, big thank you to all those people that do and have been supporting me in this 30 Days of Challenge. Love you all. And I hope to see you very soon on day 21. Can't believe we're over two thirds of the way into the month. We're getting there, guys. I think we can make it. I think we can. <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Bye.